Today's episode is brought to you by Squarespace. From websites and online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is an all-in-one platform that helps you build a beautiful online presence and run your business. Take it from me. I mean, Trixie Cosmetics, for example, is e-commerce entirely. We only do business online. Our website is our storefront. And that's why being able to have control over the website you're making and being able to update it anytime you want is fierce. I have worked with website developers and designers, and the problem about that is you end up being at the mercy of another person every time you need something updated or changed. Or let's say you launch a product and the website crashes and you can't reach anybody and you don't know how to operate in your own website because you didn't design it yourself. So believe me, there's a lot of advantages to designing and running your own website. I was doing bridal makeup and I had a website just for booking my services and being able to update it every other week with brand new wedding photos or pictures of new brides. It was just really nice. One of my other favorite things about Squarespace is the access to the analytics. I mean, the fact that you can go through and see like what people were doing on the website, what type of products they were maybe looking at buying. Do they spend any time at all on your about me page? And if if they don't, why not? You know? Traffic overview is really insightful to see like what people are really doing once they get on your website. So go over to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash ball to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. That's squarespace.com slash ball to get 10% off. Hello, hello, hello. Yes, we're recording. Check, check, check. Check, check. Can you put me up a little bit? Yeah, 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 yeah. Just your monitor? Um, or like just in general? My headphones? Yeah. How's that? Oh, that's a little too much. Too much. <clears throat> how about that? Um, A little too much, actually. <laughs> okay, how about that? <laughs> that's good. How about just like a little bit of that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, <laughs> like in, when um in the in music videos, when the uh-huh. um, people in the booth are like just uh, pushing buttons up and down <sighs> the whole time that Look, they're singing a ballad. Well, they're pret- they act like it's the sleigh button. It's when not fact, the it's, same button. It's, it's volume levels and like sound levels, but they act like, oh, this is getting juicy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, here it goes. And also you wouldn't, I mean, I'm not a sound engineer, but correct me if I'm wrong. You wouldn't be um, like buttons wouldn't be present. Like you wouldn't be uh, moving dials during the song. No, you really <laughs> want it. Not during the song. Like no. Mid, mid sing. Yeah. You, you would, you would be listening back to it and you'd uh-huh. be tweaking it so that uh-huh. you would honestly be tweaking it so that you can get it somewhere where the artist can say good, because then once the artist leaves, that's when they go in and they do all that shit, but they do yeah. this on a computer. Right. Yeah. All, those giant boards, when you go into the real, real studios mm-hmm. are, they're I'm not, not saying they're overkill, but it's, it's all for show. 90% of those do not get used. Oh. You know, it's like, uh, and it's all, they're all like little props, like in the science fiction movies. Yeah. Like in the lab. Well, they're all individual <laughs> channels. So let's say there's 20 people individually singing all at once. You would need all those channels, but most of the time you're just tracking one or two people at once. Yeah. Well, it's always the, the scene is always one person. It's like doing a ballad. Yeah. It's just one person. And then the guy's like, and the mic is here uh-huh. and it's a woman in full hair and makeup. And she's like. How do I live without you? And then she remembers that she's in love and her singing gets even better. <laughs> yeah. Well, because if anybody and any sound engineer will tell you, it's not exactly the buttons that really give you the sound. It's the remembrance. It's, it's, it's like coming into your power. Music school? No. <laughs> no, no, no. Speed dating. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The thing that learned, um, the thing that finally kind of got me over the hump of um, learning the classic violin is uh, confidence. I know. Yeah. That instrument, I got to say this about the, the- I had to believe in myself in order to play the violin. I just did an interview with guitarworld.com, I think, guitar or Guitar World magazine. Mm-hmm. And they were asking about why I started the guitar. And I was like, honestly, I was poor. <laughs> and I probably started the same reason every poor person starts a guitar. Because it was the only thing there's always do. one around. Yeah. And they're not that expensive. Yeah. They're really Something not that like, expensive? Like, if you're, if you're in a single parent home or your family's on a fixed income- you're not in violin lessons. Oh no! Right? You're not yeah, in yeah, ballet. yeah. You're, you're not, not in karate. You're not in karate. You're not doing gymnastics. You're not doing dance class. Nothing. It's so expensive. Yeah, so expensive. Well, when's Vander the last Pum. time I saw girl? We just shot two days of uh in a week. Yeah, that was a, a couple. Mom, of, I love co- short, and short, and short. <laughs> the mom, I love short. I love doing uh, but two in a week is. Oh. It's uh, it's pushing it because that one is um. 
Yeah, I mean, I there's it's uh, tough. We're, it's we're, tough. We've fallen. I think we both fallen asleep watching it, uh, during Netflix at times, and um, you know, but uh, we can't do that at a World of Wonder because there's nothing to bring us back. There's not a movie plan. There's not a movie. Plan. We can rely on the audience watching a Hollywood <laughs> film. Yeah, yeah. Uh, for a hundred million dollar budget movie. Um, but, on the days yeah. where we're tired, I always worry if Jeff and Ron are get, they get the footage and they're like, "Are you kidding? Great! Are you kidding? I Great. I can't even imagine the the kind of internal discussions that are happening. If I don't want to know though. I don't oh, ever want to know. People I have do been watching wanna, season seven, and people have been saying, uh, "Oh, the editing this season is crazy." I said, "We're getting more boring." Yeah, they're having like, to do back handsprings. You know when when part of the body fails and other muscle groups rec- are recruited to when you go blind and you slack? hear better. <laughs> yes, exactly. Um, we have gone, both eyes have gone blind, so the ears have really needed to perk up. Isn't it incredible that when someone loses their sight or their hearing, their vision or like vice versa improves? Did you know that? I mean, I've heard that, but when, I don't know. When people lose their sight, I think their hearing sharpens. Their body's like, oh, now this is I mean, the, yeah. she's the moment. I mean, that makes sense. Vision is very important. If I <laughs> had really good hearing, I would inflate it to the point of like, we'd be in a silent room. I'd be like, y'all don't hear that? You don't oh, have good hearing? out. <laughs> down the street? That, that low pitch Down buzz, the street, someone's that low pitch hum? Macy Gray. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. 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 In I Beverly try Hills, to say <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> So pride. What do you? Oh yes, happy pride. It's the first month. What's up? What's this outfit about? Well, I just thought like I would put on. I, I was supposed to go get a. Oh, you. I'll say it. I don't care. I was supposed to go get a hemorrhoid move today, and it shrunk. It shrunk uh, so much that the doctor was like, "Why don't you go on your Australia tour and see if it continues to shrink?" Because yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to fish around in your butt with the hedge clippers today. Yeah, and if anybody's had a hemorrhoid removed, I've done it. It the healing process is annoying because that's a unsanitary area stretches and, and moves when you do things oh. what's going on with your you, that area like opens <laughs> and closes i know i know <laughs> and you know plus i'm gaping yeah <laughs> and so you know i'm it's gaping so- <laughs> i'm gaping i'm pulling I, every night before i go to bed i lube up and i put two fingers and i rip i open i gape i gape make america gape again I'm gaping. <laughs> oh, See, that's what I, I mean. We have that. some friends where I would say gaping, and they'd be like, "Oh my god!" I'd be like, "Mary, you do it on camera. You do it gaping, on camera." Gaping doesn't even. We need a. We need a bigger word. We need a bigger boat to describe what is happening with some of the. The gaping is not when it, when it goes that far. I'm like, was Westboro Church <laughs> right? God does Maybe hate fags. They were on to something. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They were a little too vocal about it. But. Yeah, it's like um. um it would, it would be like a another word. It would be like, I just feel like it's an event horizon or something. Yeah. You know, when the black hole sucks everything into it and everybody turns evil. <laughs> yeah. It's the um, multiverse. Mm-hmm. Multiverse of madness. That's mm-hmm. my hole. That's yeah. me at the, oh, yeah. that's me when they put a, they also, the doctor, he wanted to show me that the hemorrhoid was like, sh- rap- of course, my luck, by the way, I finally get an appointment. And it starts rapidly shrinking. Great. Yeah. So it, yeah. he takes pictures and then they show you of on your, an iPad pictures of your butthole. And it's not even the first time I've been shown butthole pictures on an iPad. I hate that. I hate that. Were they going to excise it or were they going to They burn were going to cut, remove. They said, um, yeah. sometimes when you have a hemorrhoid, your body either like pumps blood into it, makes it worse, or your body like blocks it off. Yeah. And he says, yours is pretty much blocked off, so it'll go away on its own or okay. we can remove it later. But with this week and everything, I just was like, I don't need to have this surgery right now. No, I mean, that is very pride though. To be doing like very lots, pride to, to do be elective like booked rectal busy, surgery. Yeah, booked and busy and drag all day with like a bleeding asshole from a hemorrhoid surgery. Well, he said it's, it's, he said, you know, it's not dangerous. It's, and it's since it's on the outside, like it's, it's yeah. not going to be dangerous or pain. I said, if it's not painful, it's just really cosmetic. He's like, yeah. are you, did you, do you use it matter to you? Yeah. And How many cover a, shoots do you as have a for woman, Butthole Magazine? As a woman, week? I'm like, it does matter to me. <laughs> yeah. When I wear, yeah, when you bend over and you have your little dental floss G string on and the club, it, it kind of gets a little, yeah. It gets a little um, dicey. Maybe I can get it like a, it's Pride Month. I could spin this into a little. You could. You could. Are you dipping into the cool, the cool, the cool waters of corporate sponsorship during Pride? I don't think so. Well, come on, Diva. I know. I th- um. I don't think so. I don't think people want me to speak for their products. Um, <laughs> I'm, well, I'm no, You're not really a. I'm not really content a creator. No, 
that that the, I don't think they watch your phrase, TikToks. That the 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 mere mention of that phrase makes me bristle. Um, well, basically, I, it's it's a it's an all encompassing yeah. umbrella word. Yeah, of, yeah, yeah. Because some I, people I who stuff make out, I put Instagrams, stuff online. they make Instagram stories and call themselves a content creator. Absolutely. But then, absolutely, an independent filmmaker could call themselves a content creator. It doesn't really mean anything. anything from yeah, literally anything from the bread face girl to like uh, Barbara, Dun- the bread face girl, the girl who sits on or puts her face in bread. It's an oldie. That's an oldie. That's a deep what? cut. Yeah. She's like, from is, she on, is she on, is she keto? And she's like, at least I can smell it or something. You know I don't I mean? know. I don't know what her deal is, but she does all different types of bread. And it, uh, <laughs> you never that, seen is her? Is that what's beyond cake farts? Uh, I think it's, yeah, it's, it's bread like, face. it's like the, the PG, um, uh, it's in the neighborhood, but it's in the PG section. DJ bread face. DJ bread face. Yeah. She sick, puts her face right into the bread. It smushes it down. I think it's like, um, you know. you know what girl jokes on us? She's mashing bread in her face and we're cross-dressing in our 40s. Yeah, no, I mean, I'm. So, she's really, she's got it right. Content creator. She ate. Yeah. She didn't she eat. She smushed. Yeah, she didn't she eat smushed. it all. <laughs> she, what, you, like, got a, you, you got pride gigs? Um. Yes. Oh my God, so many. Are you really not doing any prides? Oh, no, I'm doing like a million. <laughs> <laughs> you uh, I think I'm doing- late for one right now. <laughs> Oh, it's pride. This, if we're going to talk off the record. <laughs> no, I don't, I don't think I'm, this is the month to do gigs. Is it? Everything, everything pays a little more. Uh huh. And granted sometimes daytime and but stuff. We don't have, um, but we have, uh, have a tour, tour. Yeah, but not in terms for two weeks. <laughs> and it's still pride in Australia when you get there. <laughs> um, I think I have five pride gigs before. Is we leave. pride only in June? It moves. So like in, Aus- in, in it, Atlanta, it moves according it's to the really weather. hot. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's in September. October, okay. I think in Phoenix, it's also not in the summer. That's, wow, a rare moment of like humanity yeah. for gay people. I got a, the, the premiere is tonight. Yeah, and then I'm I'm coming. Gonna, the airport, the car for the airport comes at 3 a.m. to go to, go to gonna, Pittsburgh gonna, to DJ tomorrow where night. Where can I throw this? <laughs> what, is, what is wrong with you? I'm, I'm going to stop asking. I'm just going to assume that you're insane. And that you you want it. you are Julianne Moore with the with the seam cutter. These are godless times. Yeah, yeah. So I got I got that gig tomorrow. That'll be me DJing tomorrow. I'm gonna grab the mic and go. These, These are, are godless times. times. <laughs> so I got that tomorrow. But that's actually really easy. I mean, DJing not going to the airport at uh, the airport is three a.m. at uh, so what you'd have to you pop a goofball around eleven and then make it to the airport around you leave for the airport at two. Wait, well, what? I, flight I think, is at three. No, or? I get picked up at three. Oh. Flight's at six. Oh, right. Get right, to the right, right, east right. coast for a gig. You lose all that time. You lose all that time. Who the fuck is serial calling the front door? Oh my god. Hello, Brandon. There's gonna be flowers coming to the door. Oh my god. Who is she? I don't know this Julian person. Les. I don't want to know this person. <laughs> Brandon. The fucking flowers by the thank you note from the butt doctor. Thank you. Shut yeah. up. <laughs> I wonder who sent them. Um, you love. She loves flowers. I love flowers. So I got. Pri- I got a uh, Pittsburgh Pride Friday. You got flowers. That you got flowers for Algernon at eleven fifteen. I got Pittsburgh Pride. Bri- Pittsburgh Pride Friday, mm-hmm. and then Saturday, mm. I got a during the day drive to Asbury Park, New Jersey. Mm-hmm. Do a band gig. Mm. After the band gig at nine ish, get in the car. Drive 90 minutes in drag to the Borgata Casino to DJ at the midnight. Borgata. To DJ at midnight. Ooh. Double gig, double booked. Um, well, that's going to suck. I know. No, but no, 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 not necessarily. Borgata is like fun and trashy. If you're cross-dressing and it's pride and you're not making as much money as you can. Yeah. What are you waiting until July? Well, when it's I, hotter I, and you're less, yes, gay, yes, you're yes. less valuable. We're, yes. Or you're just, you don't want to make that much money or you don't care. Right. That there's that also that option. Something <laughs> I don't know about her. That's me. Yeah, that is you. So they, do they call you? Can I ask? Do they call you for gigs and you say no? Uh huh. Sorry. Uh, who's they? Like when people ask you to do gigs, do you say no? Mm-hmm. A lot. Oh yeah. Really? Yeah. I mean, do you think I'm just I'm not wanted at all? No. <laughs> Can I ask another question? Because we are sort of like city mouse, country mouse. Like, do you have like a paywall where you're like, if it's not this much, don't even ask? I don't, I don't negotiate my own things, but I don't, I don't leave the house for. Oh, Ooh, those are gorgeous. Gorge. Wow. Those are very, very pretty. Let's pretty. see who it's from. I still think about the flowers you sent me from Cobra Lily. 
Oh, Trixie, congrats yeah. on your incredible feat and see you tonight. And sorry in advance that I'm going to look better than you at your own party. Whitney Cummings. Oh. Wow. Feet? Well, F-E-A-T or F-E-E-T? I think she said good luck on your feet. F-E-A-T or F-E-E-T? Well, I think it's just F-A-T. <laughs> good, luck. good luck on your fat. <laughs> good luck on your fat. Yeah. Good luck losing 12 pounds before the premiere party tonight, you fat cunt. <laughs> I don't know what it is about the, the Instagram algorithm, but Whitney's stand-up specials pop up to me on the... the Mm -hmm. all, maybe she posts it a lot, but they're <laughs> yeah, always be. popping up. Yeah. Hi, it's me, Trixie. And as you know, I work almost constantly. I would say every day, at least eight hours of my day is absolutely packed with work. Um, and I need to relax and chill and take a moment for myself when I can get it because I deserve it. I spend a lot of time in cars, planes. I mean, in between Zoom calls, and it's nice to be able to reward myself with a little bit of enjoyment. With Best Fiends, an exciting puzzle adventure game, I can have fiendish fun anywhere, anytime, baby. I mean, free time is something that often gets pushed to the end of your list. You're like, well, when I finish everything else, I'll do that. And then maybe I'll reward myself. I mean, we shouldn't have to like reward ourselves with enjoyment. Add some joy to your daily routine with Best Fiends. Super fun. You will not be able to put it down. I'm on level 33, and I find it very easy because I love video games, but I don't have a lot of time nowadays to boot up my console or my PC, and so I love being able to play a mobile game that I can just play for a few minutes and put down several times through the day. It also feels good to just get in the zone and like eat through a few levels and then be able to put it down and go back to work. Best Fiends is a free-to-download mobile puzzle game with thousands of exciting levels and new adventures, and it's really different every time you pick it up. There's dozens of unique fiends involved. You can customize your team depending on what type of abilities you want to use to defeat the menacing slugs. I also love that there's offline play. I was just in New York City and I was on the train and I could play in the tunnels, baby. You've earned your fun time. Go to the App Store or Google Play to download Best Fiends for free. Plus, earn even more with $5 worth of in-game rewards when you reach level 5. That's friends without the R. Best Fiends. Today's episode of The Bald and the Beautiful is brought to you by Thrive Cosmetics. That's Cosmetics because it's cosmetics with a cause. High performance beauty and skincare products made with clean, skin loving ingredients. No parabens, no sulfates, no phthalates. Certified 100% vegan and cruelty free. Cause is in the name for a reason because every purchase supports organizations that help women thrive. What I love about Thrive Cosmetics is I know from making makeup that there's always a cheap way to do something and there's always an expensive way to do something. There's always a way to make something look good or make something more nourishing to the skin or safer or better for the environment. And I'm always into a brand that is always taking the most responsible route. I love Thrive Cosmetics because I have very sensitive skin and anything and everything can break me out. We're talking anything and everything. You gotta check out the Liquid Lash Extensions Mascara. It's the best-selling product, has over 20,000 five-star reviews, and you know how people are about mascara. I think mascara is the one thing that people are the most specific and finicky and opinionated about because everybody has different lashes and mascara is one of those products that people pretty much wear every day. So there's always gonna be more people with more opinions about mascara. Ultra lengthening eye opening effect lasts all day without clumping, smudging, or flaking. It mimics the look of lash extensions without damaging glue or expensive salon prices. And it's easy removal. Tubing formula slides right off with warm water and a washcloth. No soap required. Thrive Cosmetics also has a great mission statement called Bigger Than Beauty, and for every product purchased, Thrive Cosmetics donates to help women thrive. Women emerging from homelessness, surviving domestic abuse, fighting cancer, and more. Now is a great time to try Thrive Cosmetics for yourself. Right now, you can get 15% off your first order when you visit thrivecosmetics.com slash bald. That's Thrive Cosmetics, C-A-U-S-E-M-E-T-I-C-S dot com slash bald for 15% off your first order. So wait a minute, back to your gigs. Mm. They do, Can I just like understand this correctly? They oh, ask no, you to do gigs. Headphones. They ask you to... Hello? They, yeah. <laughs> they ask you to do gigs and you say no. Uh, yeah. For your for yeah, your enjoyment yeah, yeah. and for your own happiness, yeah. I, I mean, I don't I don't want to work that much. I mean, I don't really want to work at all. Um, but then you know we have this show. I'm not making fun of you. No, I'm not, I really I think not. that this is. You think it's a I, mental illness? No, I think it's a really healthy thing. Because I, I feel like you, the way you think is, why would I do that? I have money. I have the money I need yeah. to live. Why would I go? Yeah. 
I mean, and I, I never feel that way. No, I, yeah. I mean, I, I, I don't know. I crossed the threshold a long time ago now, but here's the but I, thing I have to keep remembering. And this is so embarrassing. This is really embarrassing is that I am, I am so selfish and I'm so self-centered that I forget that my money earning potential goes beyond the care of just myself. Do you know what I mean? Like yes. I, there are other people in the world that I could be taking care of <laughs> like my family. You know what I mean? Like my oh, fucking I nephews. You people who make money off you. I thought you like your responsibility <laughs> to management and agency. Are you out of your mind? <laughs> no, if anything, I'm going to tax them once I retire. I Give will them say 10% back until I die. I yeah. will say this not to make you feel any type of way. Taking one gig a year you didn't really care to do and then sending it to your parents and being like, it's for retirement, enjoy it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is a game changer for them, I'm sure. Yeah. I mean, they are extremely, extremely poor. poor. <laughs> extremely <laughs> poor. <gasps> and they're only 55, 56 years old, so they got a long way to go. I got to meet your mom on tour. Yeah. I never met Patricia. Yeah. I met your whole fam on tour. Yeah, you met my you met cousins and everybody. Um, yeah. I didn't get to meet your brother. A lot of ladies. No. In Seattle. I didn't even get to see him. He literally, he pulled at me dipped. and just let, dipped. By the time I was backstage and like not even like wiped off sweat, he was like, oh yeah, we're back at the hotel. I was like, work. <laughs> work. Love it. Yes. Love it. Yeah, me too. Your mom was so nice. And I, yeah, only because I know her from Drag Race and I know you so well, it was, it was like, it felt very overdue to put it. I to, know. Yeah, I know. I was like, I guess I haven't met. Because of yeah. Drag Race, I think I mentally thought maybe I'd met her. I, had, I figured you had to. But also, my family, I don't, we don't really get involved. You guys really look alike. Yeah, I think people say that. And you look I don't see a it. lot like your sister. Uh, yeah, that, okay. I don't see it at all. We she's don't see gorge. anything. Yeah, she's great. She's like, she's like the nicest person in the world. My sister and my mother, the two. You know when you ever do that morbid thing of like, when you're, Say you've got a hostage situation or some horrible killer is like threatening you, and you're like, which one? Which one? And oh. I was like, oh, take me on, like no problem. Oh. But actually, that it's kind of it's kind of easy because I would just go first. I thought about situation. this a lot. The only person I think I would go for. What do you mean go for? Like you would go? You would give up your you life? You die for, or they die? Oh yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Little rich. Um, oh. Probably David. Okay, and. My younger siblings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, my that's older brother, like that feels like uh, maybe yeah, something yeah, yeah. in my genetics knows you don't die for the older sibling, you die for the younger siblings. Mm. My sisters, either of them, gun to the head, no problem. No hesitation. You would put a gun to their head? No, no problem. like, we're going to shoot you or that. <laughs> yeah, I'd yeah, be yeah. like, do it. Mama, yeah, yeah. do it. Uh, boop. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, my I, brother's my benefactor, my financial benefactor. Would you have a will? Yeah. You my, do? Is my, it, where did you write it on the I computer? Think my brother made it. Because he's a liar. Yeah, and he's the one that I, I mean, I love my mom. I love my sisters. Yeah, good, yeah. I don't trust those bitches with money. No, no, I trust no. my brother with the money. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, I told him like, I'll let you pretty much have everything, but you need to like slowly disperse to the rest of the family over time. Because uh -huh. if you give it to them all at once, they're going to get Corvettes and live in the street or something. Like right. they're not responsible. Right, 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 right. Yeah. So. That's cool. Is it, is it like, um. Is it a I'll read it to you. I know. I think I have one too. I wrote it on my notes app in the bu on the bus because I was like, oh, there is a... You really think that bus is going to kill you? I don't think the... I, I'm not dramatic. <laughs> I'm not dramatic. I'm not dramatic. I'm not going to anthropomorphize the bus and, and turn it into a murderer. Final destination. But I do feel that it's quite... It's more than... You know, there's a, there's a decent possibility that we will die on the bus. So... Um, <laughs> Let's just, let's have that conversation. Let's celebrate that. <laughs> exactly, because I'm not complaining. <laughs> so it seems like Tonight's you're writing the will the in anticipation. Yeah. So I did, I was on the bus and, like, and I couldn't go to sleep and I was like, oh, ooh, I should write a will just in case. So I did, I wrote it on my notes app and I told Eden, I was like, just so you know, if they can, you know, get it from the cloud. What do you want yeah. if you die? Or what do you want from me if I die? From you? Items. Any oh, items God. I have, anything. I'm assuming you don't want money. No, I mean, I would. Uh, you want Matthew? I have the way I would throw that thing off of a cliff. Or didn't, I would go to uh, Courtney's old apartment and throw it down the trash chute. Um, <laughs> I don't think. Would you fuck it? No. To Clammy. I, I don't think I have anything of value to you, honestly. There's not much of value to me in the, like, just period. Um, you I would the Peloton? I don't like stationary biking or biking really at all. All right. Um, <laughs> You I would, um, I'd take the AstroTurf. Oh, you want the seamless, seamless paper, photo yeah. shoots, oh, pictures? Oh, I'd take, I'd take the entire office. 
The YouTube stuff. I had to take all yeah, the equipment. Take the cameras. I take everything and then sell it on eBay. Oh, okay. It's more of a okay. <laughs> no, no. I don't no think I, if there's anything of yours I would want. I don't really don't think so. No, I do have something that's re- uh, really really valuable. Hold on, let me think about what it is. It's um, I don't remember, but it's yeah. I don't have anything. Nothing really good. You could have that giant drawing I did in college. That I woman with love the pussy that. out. I what think that'd be really great. That? I'm, well, I'm trying to, I was going to get it framed. and Can put I it, get it framed? No, I'm going to get it framed. And I'm going to put it in my new house. Oh, I was going to try to put it in my new house. <laughs> <laughs> Not you know me. what I should do? No, you know what I should do? I should draw you one. I like a just as good. I love that. Yeah, I, I would actually love to do that too. Because it would if I did it for somebody else, then I would be more focused and I would actually t- try hard and then I would do it better. I um, was just at, yeah. I, I took, okay, news. Oh, okay. I'm happy to say it. What? I'm moving out of this condo. Okay. Because I'm moving into a house that I purchased. That's incredible. So this condo will probably go to heaven. I was going to rent it, but I think it's a lot to rent something. Don't be a landlord. Don't be a slumlord. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to let it go. I hope the next person likes pink. (laughs) Well, if they don't, then guess what? That's why God invented the wall paint, you know? Yeah. So, um. It's not. Oh, it is very pink. Yeah. You're just. I am moving. I'm never going to say much about the place because I don't want people to know where I live. Oh, shit. Um, Oh, shit. Because it's, people have yeah. known where I lived before, and I don't like it. Yeah, that's so crazy too. Like, I mean, I I'm so naive with that stuff, but um, people mean well. But like, when I get when it's my birthday and gifts from people I don't know show up to my home, it makes me feel unsafe. Yeah, very unsafe. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, um, but we were at the house yesterday because other news. I'm gonna let David move in with me. <gasps> wow. Six years in, I'm taking the plunge. <laughs> taking the plunge. I think I put a lot of personal fear into moving in with someone with, with, um, in your exactly right to do that. Yeah. I'm scared of that. But eventually I was like, we've been together so long. What am I afraid of? And what's the worst case scenario? What's the worst thing that can happen? And honestly, after doing the motel, I think that will be a lot harder than living, living together. Yeah, absolutely. What? Oh, wow. I mean, you're not even home. Here's the thing. I love having a boyfriend. Yeah. When you live together, you introduce new stress getting sick of each other, mm. being in each other's way, yep. sharing responsibilities, yep. sharing you, 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 you gamble with adding, you going to the next level yeah. and adding you don't know what's going to happen. You don't know what's yeah. going to happen. Yeah. 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 And so that's what I always fear of. Cause I had a boyfriend in college that I broke up with while we lived together and it was just horrible. Really horrible. Why did you break up? Um, at the time, I mean, I was 22, 23, so it was also 10 years ago, but, um, we just kind of outgrew each other a little bit. Yeah. I mean, early twenties relationships, it's rare that people kind of grow in the exact same direction. Yeah. That's kind of like, did you have sex with him a lot? All the time. Yeah. Constantly. And then, and then not. No, we did. We had sex all the time. Oh. And then even when you didn't really like each other. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of sex. <laughs> um, But I guess I brought David to the house yesterday because I wanted him to see it. Did he gag? Oh, I, well, I gagged. He I gagged. mean, it's gaggy. Yeah. He gagged. I mean, he liked the pictures, but in person, I could tell he was like, "Yeah, it's beautiful." That's awesome. Yeah, it's really, really beautiful. Mm-hmm. Um, and I, I love this house. Yeah, if it's I great. wasn't doing drag and outgrowing it so quickly, I love this place. Yeah, I filmed a tour of this condo like during COVID, and then I started getting mail and stuff to my home address. So then I decided not to show people the anatomy of my home. Oh yeah, that's <clears throat> that's a smart one. Yeah, I know. I'm I'm an idiot. When we got like when Drag Race started. I went on like Instagram live and showed people like where I lived, where I was just like, I was exactly doing whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Cause I lived above a bar. So it was also like that added like public, you know what I mean? People felt like it was just like a, a, a stop on a little museum tour or whatever. You could just go right in. Yeah. I d- love that. I know. I just want to say this. If you love someone, if you love someone, don't go to their house, don't go to their house. <laughs> don't find out their phone number. Yeah. Don't, don't send things to their personal email. Don't mail things to their house. Yeah. I remember my old house. I walked outside one day and there was a girl in a Trixie shirt and like blue eye, blue hair. Yeah. You know the vibe. Just waiting. And she turned and ran. And I tweeted, there was a Trixie fan outside my house today. And people were like, she, people responded, she didn't know it was your house. I'm like, <laughs> she obviously did. She obviously did. But she just sitting there. And st- just, this is my old address. She was just okay. standing there. Just like, just standing just there. Just vibing. Yeah. Just standing there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So in the new address, I'm in a guard with my fucking life. Mm-hmm. I don't think I'm going to tell management my address. No, no, it's no. It's a need to know basis. <laughs> yeah. And when I invite people over for dinner, it's a kidnapping. It's a, <laughs> it's a blindfolding. It's a, you get uh, blindfolded and then uh, chloroformed like squid game. Yes. And then you just get left on the, yeah. You'll yes. wake up on the parquet floor and then you'll just, yeah. 
That'd oh, be cute, I loved actually. In, in Squib Game when <laughs> when uh, they get in the car and then tss, yeah. that is my that now airlines take note because y'all think you're like you're really um doing something with these gourmet menus on your airline. Consider this. Thank you for coming. You know, thank you for riding. Um, you know, dipshit airlines. I, you know, here's the uh, you know, and then you pump you pump in gas, like all. Corbin Dallas. Fifth Element, when they're like, have yes, a good flight, exactly. Corbin Dallas. Psst, boom. Trank to the neck. Fifth Element had a lot of things good, going good for it. Mm-hmm. Let's take a break. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Now a word from our sponsor, BetterHelp. Burnout is real. I can tell you as a cross-dresser who is writing books and opening motels and running makeup companies and running a YouTube channel and putting out records and... Let's just say I know what it's like to hit the wall, okay? Life can be overwhelming and many people can feel burned out without even realizing it. Symptoms include irritability, fatigue. I know for me it's irritability. I become short with everyone and everything becomes the last straw. We associate burnout with work, but it's really not the only cause. I mean, any of our roles in life can make us feel burned out. These are just my personal thoughts about therapy, but I find it to be base level extremely helpful to just say things out loud because sometimes when you just have someone else witness what you're going through, you see it clearer. You see the whole situation clearer. I mean, when things are just rocketing around in your head, it can get very insulated and very circular up there. And instead, just sharing your experiences, sometimes implementing solutions can become very, very plain. BetterHelp is customized online therapy that offers video, phone, and even live chat sessions with your therapist. You don't have to see anyone on camera if you don't want to. It's much more affordable than in-person therapy, and you can be matched with a therapist in under 48 hours, and our listeners get 10% off their first month at BetterHelp.com slash bald. That's B-E-T-T-E-R-H-E-L-P dot com slash bald. BetterHelp.com slash bald. Let's take a second, because making content is an essential part of what we do to keep this show going. I mean, it has not always been a seamless creative process, especially when you have multiple voices, multiple collaborators. I mean, I know for Katya and I, it's like every other day we owe some sort of voice note or post or picture or video or TikTok or swipe up, or and it's just, oh, it, it can be a lot. Ever since I found Canva Pro, I can design anything like a professional on any device. Canva Pro is a design platform that empowers you to create and share stunning content in just a few clicks. Designing with Canva Pro is amazingly fast and fun. Choose from thousands of templates that are easy to customize or start from scratch. Canva Pro has endless premium fonts, photos, videos, and so much more that add personality and edge to whatever you're doing. One of my favorite things is that you can use this on any device. So I mean, me on my phone, on a plane, sometimes I'm making some of my most like I mean, when I'm stuck on a plane, I'll put a lot more time into designing something. Let's just say that. Designing has never been easier. Sharing, editing, and commenting on real time, Canva Pro helps you stay organized on the same page and on top of every team project. No more misplaced files or tedious back and forth. Girl, I can tell you from Trixie Cosmetics, we have sometimes it's just an unending back and forth of all the tiniest little details. Plus, you and four teammates can unlock everything at Canva Pro for just $12.99 a month. With Canva Pro's content planner, you'll save time planning, creating, and posting social media content too. Pause scheduled posts and edit them at any time. I know for us at Trixie Cosmetics, it makes it very nice to be able to totally have our whole plan and how we're gonna introduce a brand new product. My favorite Canva Pro feature is basically being able to schedule posts. Like being able to plan out social content in advance is really fierce. Design like a pro with Canva Pro. Right now you can get a free 45 day extended trial when you use my promo code. Go to canva.me slash bald to get your free 45-day extended trial. That's C-A-N-V-A dot M-E slash bald. Canva.me slash bald. Today's episode is brought to you by Squarespace. From websites and online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is an all-in-one platform that helps you build a beautiful online presence and run your business. Take it from me. I mean, Trixie Cosmetics, for example, is e-commerce entirely. We only do business online online. Our website is our storefront, and that's why being able to have control over the website you're making and being able to update it anytime you want is fierce. I have worked with website developers and designers, and the problem about that is you end up being at the mercy of another person every time you need something updated or changed. Or let's say you launch a product and the website crashes and 
you can't reach anybody and you don't know how to operate in your own website because you didn't design it yourself. So believe me, there's a lot of advantages to designing and running your own website. I was doing bridal makeup and I had a website just for booking my services and being able to update it every other week with brand new wedding photos or pictures of new brides. It was just really nice. One of my other favorite things about Squarespace is the access to the analytics. I mean, the fact that you can go through and see like what people were doing on the website, what type of products they were maybe looking at buying. Do they spend any time at all on your about me page? And if, if they don't, why not? You know, traffic overview is really insightful to see like what people are really doing once they get on your website. You also own all of the content that you put on Squarespace. So it's all yours. The email campaigns are really fierce too. I mean, I know for Trixie Motel, before we were taking reservations, we could collect emails from people who just wanted to be the first to know when they were able to book. So go over to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash ball to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. That's squarespace.com slash ball to get 10% off. And Anyways, we're back. And we're back. I yeah. love the fifth element. Yeah. Uh, costumes by Jean-Paul Gaultier. Snapped. Multipass. Multipass. Yeah. There's a lot of things in that movie that should come to fruition. There's a part where she is hungry and she puts an empty plate in the microwave and beep, beep, and a full rotisserie chicken comes out. Yeah. I've been waiting for that food pill forever. You know what else? When right. she goes like this and that view thing and then her make eye makeup is done. Mm-hmm. Gorgeous. Yeah. Like in Total Recall with the nails, you know, boop, 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 boop. All those futuristic things are kind of like, so we have the iPads now. We have the flying cars. Where are the nails? We don't have flying cars. Well, <laughs> I mean, some of these planes are really small. It's, I think, like, a, it's like a flying car. I think I'm going to get like a Toyota Corolla or a Tercel and just put an iPad in the front and write in spray paint Tesla on it. <laughs> so wait, wait, wait. I have to, I think it is, um, I think I'm facing this um, fork in the road, literally, um, where I have to buy a car. Mm. Interesting. Why? Because, um, because where I'm living is just not like, I, I'll just need a car. Just so where you're living is just far away from things you need to get to. Yeah. Like, it's just like, I'm not in a girl, those Ubers rack up. Oh yeah. No, no, I know that. I mean, it's, it's not, nece it's not necessarily about like the, the financial expenditure or the, the expense. That's for, that's crazy. That's like crazy and shouldn't be that high. But, um, I just don't really like cars, uh, as we've famously talked. We've like both don't really like driving. Well, I think that you're. You seem like you'd be a pretty safe driver. Yeah, I'm. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm like I'm stressed out. I'm safe. I'm attentive. It's I'm paying, I'm paying attention. I'm not. And this drunk. is the thing in L.A. There's always going to be the chaotic way to get somewhere yeah. and the calm way. Like you can take the busy yeah. freeway or. Take, yeah, take that's fountain. true. Yeah, honey, honey take, take fountain. fountain. You have to take, take the take side streets. Take, take the Olympic. side streets. <laughs> you have to take Olympic. You know, I'm just looking for like an easy way to get downtown. I took fountain <laughs> to Olympic to La Cienega, and then I just uh -huh. hopped on the 405. And then you go to from Pico to Cienega, and then you just take um, fountain all the way home. And then when I'm in Little Armenia, I go to Big Armenia, yeah. and then I ended up in Medium Armenia. But then I was like in Thai Town. Thai Town. I was I in Thai Town. LA does have Thai Town, K Town, and Chinatown, I believe. Thai Town, Chinatown. Um, a couple uh, of the world in Los Angeles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A Korea. Wait, that's K Town. There's Little Armenia. A uh, little Tokyo. Little Tokyo. Little Tokyo. West Hollywood, which is the country of gay. Mm -hmm. Which is also Little Russia. Very Little Russia. Yeah. Um, so and this is the um, just south of me. I don't know if you've ever seen It's a lot of the very traditional Jewish families. Uh huh. Yeah, well, there's Jewish pockets everywhere. But this is like the fancy clothes and on the weekends they walk because yeah. they do the no, no electronics thing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Can I ask a close, uh, hope, I hope an open-minded question. Yeah. Very devout Jewish people who don't use electronics on the weekend. Can they not touch them? Can they use Siri? Like, That's a good question. Like I, if you as program an Orthodox your, Jew, and I am um, definitely going to answer that. But I don't like know. It, can yeah. you program your TV to turn on when like, you know, uh, Women Who Kill comes on? <laughs> And then you're like, well, since it's on, yeah. I'm not breaking the law. Yeah. <laughs> no, well, it's, I don't think it's a law, but yeah, I think um, I know people who have families in like these uh, Orthodox religions, like, you know, it, whether it's Muslim or Jewish or whatever. And they, you know, those like custom, they always find some people always find a little loophole or, I mean, it's like, you know, you know, God's not going to come down from heaven and like slice you in half if you do, use Siri on Saturday. Although maybe he will. I don't know. Yeah. 
I mean, isn't that crazy? I'm reading a book. I'm reading a book about Islam right now, like the history of Islam, and it's religion is so wild. It is. It is so wild. It is, and it's really hard to honestly gauge which ones are the wildest because some of them just wild. seem more wild because they're newer. Yes. And some of them seem less crazy because we're exposed to it all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you Americanized religions given. don't seem as crazy. Yeah, it, they are. We have it on our dollar bills and stuff. And then, of know. course, like in America, like interesting that when white people do the religion, it's trendy. You know what I mean? Like, mm, yeah. it's cool. Well, it's right. And uh, yeah. Well, they're, you know, uh, churches and liquor stores. What about them? That's where you, that's the, like you find them everywhere. <laughs> If I went to a liquor store and they were doing like a sun salutation or something, I would scream like a morning <laughs> prayer or like, could you imagine a liquor store? They're doing a baptism. Yes, I can actually. I'd, I'm surprised they don't baptize the babies in like um, Tito's um, <laughs> serve yeah. Stra- pink lemonade, serve vodka. Serve that baby. It's <laughs> Are you, is your baby fucking fierce? And then drown that bitch in pink vodka. Well, you know, it's the, what the, uh, I think it's the Greek Orthodox ones. They take the baby and they go, boom. It's boom, sickening. Boom. It's it is sickening. wild. They take that little baby and they fuck it up. They dunk the baby. I would do that energy, baby, but it would be baby. like a big martini glass. Like, um, yeah. like put Dita Montes. Yes. You put a little, um, you put a little Swarovski shoe on her, a little, um, yeah, a little uh, I, crystal I, thong. And I grab her by her lace front and I go, yes. are you ready to get cunt? And then I just start dipping. <laughs> are you ready to serve cunt? Yes, cunt. Come on, cunt. Yeah. Who put my baby in the water? Uh, who put yeah. my baby in the water? Uh. Baby, and then I would, when, yeah. when the when I would put the baby's mouth in the water, I'd make it kind of sexy and be like, ooh. <laughs> and then when the baby came up, it'd be yesified. It'd be like <laughs> thirteen years old, or say maybe eighteen years old. Yeah, yeah. eighteen <laughs> years old and like uh, like freakum dancing. <laughs> <laughs> With like a long, like a ponytail doing this. Isolating butt cheeks and a twerk. Yeah, that'd be great. So let's have, um, let's have that conversation. Yeah, let's have more sexy baptisms. Where are all the sexy baptisms? Why got to make it so solemn? So grim. I mean, I, that footage, you got to go Google it. I'll find, I'll, maybe I'll try to find a link, but like. I love them. I've that, seen them. That is, I mean. Sometimes they drop them too. Oh, they are, they are flinging that baby like a fucking doll. I, I mean, know. it's, it's, it's out fine. of like, control. It's, they're rubber. Babies are rubber. Yeah. Like nobody, no babies <sighs> died from baptism. That I mean, doesn't happen. Yeah. Right, 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 right. But they it's just, themselves it's just, later because the guilt of baptism. Hello. But. Thank you. It's very intense. It's a very intense thing. Although I do appreciate that because all those, especially Catholic stuff, my God, how, what a grim, boring affair. All these bringing you know, up ceremonies are, are. Were you baptized? Yeah. What was that like? Baptized? Well, I was an infant, so I'm not exactly clear on that <laughs> you, you memory. Dressed, well, you were dressed like an infant. Yeah. <laughs> you were 25, but you had a little baby bow in the No, hair. I had a Lexus Stone come paint the baby face on my adult face, and I just had a the filter. A, <laughs> yeah. Use the baby filter. Yeah. Um, uh, first communion, first sacraments. You ever get the sacraments. Have you gotten to put the baby filter on a baby? Um, yes, and it doesn't really do much. Actually, it doesn't really do much on a youthful face either. On Eden, it was hilarious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really funny in her. She looks, yeah. It's good on you in drag. Um, I'm obsessed with your face with the old thing on in drag. It kind I mean, of I have it framed serve. in my apartment. It's such a serve. It kind of is a serve. Yeah. It's like a beautiful, imagine like a gorgeous, um, a beautiful like ceramic plate that's in like all these jewel tones and then you just drop it on the floor and it cracks. Yeah. And that's like, that's like that. Do, do you know what I mean? You, do you think you'll get pumped? Um, with like, what? If you continue to do drag in your life, do you think you'll get like uh, cheek pump, lip I'm, pump? I'm, I already got lip pump and I'm getting more next week. Cause when I see the men on TV now, like the late night hosts, I clock that voluma in the cheeks so oh, fast. Yeah. Just a little Everybody. youthful. You know, I, I swear to God. Um, I just saw, I just saw this thing this morning about how there was um, on D list that said Kim Kardashian would eat shit if it would help her look younger. I was like, girl, honey, get in line. Same. Um, but I don't, but I don't, I don't, oh. I don't want to do all that. Guess what? Just guess what becomes shit? Your food. Yeah. Well, eating shit is yeah. not the just, worst thing. Just turn the tur- turn the beat around. If it was like Kim Kardashian would kill someone, I was like, okay, then no. But yeah, yeah, eating yeah. shit, girl, don't act like. Yeah, we'd all, mom, we all eat shit. Um, I, I, I the, the stuff. I don't know. I'm just, I don't know. Who, who knows? Who cares? I'm. For, first of all, there's no like, there's no moral issue with it. So that's no, no, that's, no. For me, it's I, an aesthetic if, issue, obviously. If it turned a point where. To be in drag, I really started to get old enough and male enough. I mean, as you get older as a man, your features do you really don't convert as well to drag. Do you think you're going to have a problem converting that thing to drag? 
A little as bit. As it ages. Why? I mean, as long as this stays like Where do you bony. think it's going to go? It starts to hollow. Like the yeah. pockets of your face start to lose volume mm-hmm. and you mm-hmm. start to see your male skull underneath. And uh-huh. then it's hard then, to be, you know what I'm talking yeah, about. I was like, you, okay, now you're speaking my language. So, but, the, but you draw circles and squares. Yeah. So what's, what's the problem? <laughs> I don't know. I so as your, I, Yeah. I mean, your canvas becomes a little bit more topographical than rather than flat. You just have to go against the reality more, I guess. Yeah. And it doesn't happen overnight. So there's nothing to worry about. It's not it like doesn't? you wake No. People don't wake up old. No. I, oh God, though. I, I'll walk by the like. Um, wherever, and I'll see a, a, a my reflection in the mirror, and I will like scream. Ah! Oh, it's me. Yeah, the go or the scream, the artwork. Yeah, that's it. Um, you should do a merch of that. You as the scream. Oh, that's the hole. Okay. The gaping hole. The gaping hole. I don't want to gape. I don't know. I mean, mm. I love everyone. I'm happy for gay sex. Mm-hmm. I don't want to push the limits of my body mm. in that way. Yeah. It it is like a very um. I don't want to shove something up my dick hole. I don't want to shove. Um, this thing is very very popular. I don't want to do that. Popular, very I'm, popular. Very popular. I don't even want two. Ne- never, I don't even want two dicks. In so it's like a hundred percent. But okay, I was gonna say like, help me understand this because I am. I totally understand wanting something or liking something and then gradually and progressively pushing it to the limit. Of course. That makes a lot of sense to me. But how would you have any way to understand that? Well, I that? can theoretically oh, kind of like yeah. I can kind of, you know. Um, but I don't yeah, the um the you've never had that feeling, that desire to like put a fist up your butt or whatever, or like get more up there. I the extremeness of it isn't sexier to me, and I think that's probably something that you have to enjoy. You have to like that you're doing something extreme. You know, that has to be kind of a rush. Yeah. That you're like, this is a little dangerous and weird. Uh huh. And because it's a little dangerous and weird, it turns me on. Uh huh. I think that's probably where it comes from. And I don't have that feeling. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm a little more of a Harlequin romance novel. Oh, okay. Like, you oh, know, drape, like, um, drapes. Like more storyline. Yeah. 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 You know, maybe I'm standing on a balcony and yeah. my husband just died and then mm-hmm. his brother. Yeah. Came in to get his stuff. And then, oh my God, from the trip, he's so sweaty and he takes his shirt off. And I'm too. having sex with my late husband's brother <laughs> and I'm not sure how I feel about it. Yeah. But, oh. Yeah, yeah. This, this, the sheets are in the drape, or they're like billowing in the wind, and and then I try to hang myself, and he <laughs> saves me, and we have sex, and I still have the noose around my neck. <laughs> Stuff happens. <laughs> if you were gonna move, what's the dream vibe of your new, like your home? Like, what's the decoration vibe? Well, we just saw the dream. Well, the exterior. So I don't care about the. So I'm just gonna assume I live till seventy. Let's just say that. Okay. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I know. I know. Yeah. Just stretch the imagination, stretch the limits of your imagination for a moment. I'm going to say that I, I live till 70. Uh, my, I'm my f- like first property that I buy, assuming that I continue to make any money. Um, I don't care about the exterior very, at, at all. Mm-hmm. Like, so I don't care about the exterior at all. I just want the interior and the, the, the like yard space. You if there's any about the curb appeal. No, no. Why would I? I mean, the place that I'm moving to, especially like there's no, it's a nice place, but I don't like, you know, we're not going to sit on the sidewalk and be like, yes, there, that is my home. Right. You know, you go inside it and then you're like, oh yeah. Um, so but you smoke outside, right? But that's the thing. So back yard area. Backyard that's the area. smoking. That's lounge. the spot. Yeah, lots of great little backyard areas. But I we saw um, Andrew showed me this place in um, uh, about probably like ten minutes from here. Oh my god! In the not like up in the hills, it's just up the hill, very like from um, Sunset or something very or Crescent generous. Heights. Holy shit! This like it's all like tucked away in these. In, it's all forest, you know. Like it's tucked away in the trees. You see this like red barn, like um, barn looking place. Like uh, I, I'm gonna call it Victorian. That's not right, but like. It looks like a, um, like a, a red, like a red Victorian, it's not Victorian mansion. And it just looks so, it's like, oh, that's the one I want, you know, but it's too big. Yeah. Way too expensive, obviously. And honestly, you want the space for the things you do. And that's kind of it. Yeah. Like I, I just outgrew this place. And what I liked about it is. If I only had one day at home, I could clean the whole place in a couple hours. That's that's so that's it's like thirteen hundred square feet, yeah. one person. Yeah, that's what that is my um my like metric for 
um, space. Because when you when you get a lot of money, if you ha- if you're lucky enough to to earn a lot of money, uh-huh. then you can go for. I mean, the, in America, it seems to be you buy as much as you can. Do you know what I mean? Like you you spend what you have. Like if you can afford. Um, a $5 million home, that's what you do. If you can do a $10 million home, that's what you do. Even if you're one person. Well, I'll tell you this. It is a hassle to purchase conservatively and then you outgrow it. Yeah. I should have gone bigger than this, but I was scared because I never bought anything so expensive before. Yeah. I mean. Well, that's fine then. But I, but now I've only lived here two years. I redecorated the whole thing and now I'm leaving. Right. That's annoying. Yeah. Custom wallpapers, custom, like, you know, that's a bummer. Yeah. I thought about keeping this place just for drag. Then I was like, if I have to come over here to get in drag every time, I'm going to be here five, six days a week. That sucks. Yeah. You would just, keep, right. Oh, right. Like just YouTube and drag here. That's annoying. Yeah, I guess so. I want to wake up, walk 10 feet and get in drag. Oh, right, 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 right. You know? Oh yeah. After having, yeah. Same thing. Yeah. I just walked down a little, I just wiggled down the studio. Yeah. I love that. It's amazing. Do You're very dr- lucky. Do you remember drag like. Drag in the bedroom. Remember having drag in your home. All well, the I had a, I had a studio apartment. It was, it was everywhere. It was everywhere. About Boston? Boston. That was a huge studio. It was, it was a huge studio. Actually, there was, um, that was bigger than the studio. Yeah, it's huge. Yeah, it was huge. It was crazy. I love that place. Um, but um, I remember settling for less. I was like, something's wrong with the bathroom. Something's wrong with anything. I would just accept it. Accept it's it. It's a renter. Yeah, I was just like, oh, I don't, I don't know. I don't want to be a burden on anybody. I'll just accept it. The perfect tenant. Yeah, you literally. Here? I'm like, I'm like, you want to move in here? No lights. That's fine. Candles are good. <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah. Well. The pink drink. What you got there? The pink drink. What's in Starbucks. that? What's in that? It's like strawberry, caffeine strawberry. Caffeine strawberry. A little caffeine milk. Caffeine strawberry. A little milk. Um. <laughs> I gotta say something. <laughs> what? Trixie Motel starts today. Yeah, congratulate, congratulations, Thank congratulations. You. My new record comes out in about a month. The, we'll be on tour at the time. Oh, I just saw it somewhere. It's over there. Yeah, so pretty. Thank you. So pretty. Oh, can I show it quick? Yes, it's so pretty, so pretty, really, so pretty. Bro- really gorgeous. Oh my God, Albert, do it. Yeah, this is the so sick. Right, and then this is it's a double album, so it's this and this. So. And then when you good. open it, yeah, it's all together. Oh, a secret poster. Yeah. And then it has a poster. So this comes out. And then most importantly, you and I are touring, Aust- touring Australia, New Zealand. I yeah. believe we only have a few tickets left in some of those cities. Mm-hmm. It's like crazy. Mm-hmm. And then we're coming to, we've announced Europe and UK. Yeah. There's only a few cities we aren't making it to that I wish. I wish we were doing Reykjavik. I wish we were doing. I know. I wish we were going. Um. Well, I don't know if we're going to Asia. I wish. I'm, maybe we are. But I hope at some point. I really want to go to Hong Kong. And we're doing America again. Yeah. Mary, I think Radio City Hall has 15 tickets left. Radio City Music Hall. Yeah. It's, almost, it's sold out, essentially. It's 6,000 seats. I know. It's That's so crazy. That's fucking crazy. I know. It's wild. It's wild. I, I, hope, know. Those, I hope those fags in the back <laughs> have good vision. I know. Honestly, bring the binoculars. Bring the opera glasses. Bring the opera gloves. I know. We have jumbotrons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, there's jumbotrons and stuff. I don't know. It just. But if if you want to see us in any of these cities, and because there's a lot more American cities, get the tickets now. Because I just looked at a report today, and they're gonna be sold out again. All of them. Yeah, that's really cool. It's really very cool. Crazy. Yeah, it's very cool. I mean, two years ago, COVID, we thought we'd maybe never perform. Yeah, which had a fierceness to it. I was like. I <laughs> have been recently fantasizing about this. Those first few months of COVID, besides the terror. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When so, yeah, the, yeah. When everybody who I owed things to was saying, let's put on hold. We don't know when we'll start again. Mm-hmm. And my job was to sit in here and do nothing. Mm-hmm. That was sickening. Yeah. You like that one? Simpler times. <laughs> yeah. Simpler times. It's a far cry from club, another club, another club, which is what I'm doing this weekend. But Yeah. Well, good luck, girl. Happy Pride to you. Happy Pride. Are you going to celebrate Pride in any way? Um, I'm just going to do the same thing. Just kick rocks in my little patio. You want, you want to wear like a rainbow a rainbow flag? What do you think of the kids? Oh. You know, like high school age kids will wear rainbow capes as a flag. Rainbow flags as a cape. I think that's great. Good for them. Go, Yeah, you go gay. Yeah. You go gay. And 
listen to Sylvester. Yeah. Um, well, I do, but I put my disco pants on in the morning, then wear my platform shoes, and mm-hmm. I sing I'm Coming Out mm-hmm. as I get out of the shower. And then I just, um, you know, it's an, it's fisting, poppers, K, G, screaming, mm-hmm. um, crying, getting uh, driving badly to my next, um, to the whatever club we're going to that night. Yeah. And then it's kind of just the same, rinse and repeat, just being gay. Happy Pride. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Every year. That's right. Every year, Diva. <laughs> Every year we do G K E T and just. Uh. You know what else about Pride? If you're gonna do drugs, do them as safely as possible and well, wear yeah. sunblock. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the, a great, the level that's a great of question. sunburns at Pride every year. Well, oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the the killer, the Sun silent damage, killer, skin damage. Yeah, all you all you uh, pale nasties out there, loop, you know. Yeah, yeah. And with that. Thanks again for listening to another riveting episode and we'll see you next time. Yes, next time we'll be reporting from <gasps> Damn oh, nah. oh yeah, Damn Nanda. Nah. We gotta have vanity on the pod. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. Let's will have it. Have we had vanity on the pod? No. Not yet. To Courtney. Courtney, yeah. We gotta have vanity. Vanity, yeah. vanity we're coming for you. Mm-hmm.